Hello guys, it's Rainbow Runner, and welcome back. We're here for another episode of Rail Fanning, and right now we are in Mesa, Arizona, off of Center Street and 8th Avenue, and we have an inbound train approaching. Um, red signal down there, um, looking down towards uh, Southern Avenue, and headlights are starting to come into view. Um, I'm moving back, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, again, not often do, do I film in Mesa, in particular, um, I have filmed at Southern Avenue a couple times, um, and I've even filmed at the uh, at the uh, pedestrian crossing at the uh, like off of Center Street, a little bit further down that way. But yep, headlights are coming into view. Um, as soon as the crossing gate at Southern Avenue activate, I'm going to move away from the tracks. But yeah. It's very interesting, like, like this is a, a kind of a small intersection, if you will. Well, small room between the tracks and the and the actual intersections. But I'm willing to bet that the figure that the that when the when the railroad crossing is activated, um, this turns into a they all go to flashing red, meaning a four-way stop. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, they have also um. Um, yeah, this is again a no train horn zone, which it didn't, it wasn't that way back in 2019 or early 2020. So it was more recently that they implemented this no horn zone. Um, yeah. And of course, also back in 2019 was when I saw the aftermath of the train derailment. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I think I don't think this train's going very fast, but I'm just gonna stay back here. Um Um Anytime you want to activate. Yeah, they have a line right there just as a way to All right. Yeah, the walls are kind of forming a bit of blind spot from this camera perspective. Um, oh, it looks like it is, or sounds like it is blaring its horn, I guess, violating the no horn zone. Oh, wait, you need to back up, dude. You need to back up. Oh, goodness. Oh, go, 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 go. Train, train. Okay. Yeah, I can kind of see the headlights glowing above there. Yeah. Yeah, and the light cycles really fast. Um, okay, luckily that um, that truck was able to make it through, but but yeah, the I can hear the bells and the the engine of the locomotive. Down go the gates. Here it comes. Six 
several auto rack cars. I guess it's been a while since I've seen a full auto rack train, but. Gondola cars. Oh, and actually, um, if you look at the uh, if you look at the um, intersection, you can see like a just like I assumed um, the the intersection goes to flashing red, uh, indicating a four way stop. the number of that Union Pacific locomotive. Obviously, the train slows down significantly once it reaches Mesa. Just with it, you know, going around the curve at Broadway Road. Yeah, the Broadway Curve, if you will, which is actually the name of the, of, well, the curve on I-10 as it goes past Broadway Road. Um, yeah, we're near a Tempe Diablo Stadium. Um, okay. Pretty long train, if you will. Um. That sounded like a weird noise, like on one of those cars and stuff. Um, kind of like something was dragging, but... There's the end of the train right there. Um, I'm gonna wa let you watch the gates rise. And the intersection signals have, have just turned green again, at least for um, traffic on Center Street, though. Yeah, you're supposed to be stopping at the line um, when you're at this intersection on 8th Avenue. Um, but yeah, here we go. Um, I will also admit this is not the greatest part of town, um, but yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, I wanted to get film, um, again, go to a place where I've not filmed that very often. Well, specifically a crossing I've never filmed that before. But yeah, I'll let you watch as the, the train finishes passing um, uh, Broadway Road and it goes around, well, the railroad Broadway curve, again, not to be confused with the Broadway curve on I-10. Um,
But yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right. Okay, the train has disappeared around the corner. Um, and I... Looks like the gates at Broadway Road are rising. And turning off. All right. Now... Now, actually, a quick announcement. Um, I... I think season four of Rail Fanning is going to be ending pretty soon. I wanted to get at least one more episode here in August. Um before ending season four but yeah um i will be starting season five rather soon um but yeah i just wanted to get another episode out for you before the end of season four um all right thank you guys so much for watching and as always rainbow runner will be heading out see you later